What is going on, YouTube? I'm just coming to you from the bait bunker on a blustery day here in Wisconsin. Our roads are like a hockey rink today, a little ice storm overnight, so it's a good day just to tie some jigs and hang out in the shop on my day off. Uh, but this video is kind of inspired by a conversation I had with uh, a young man at work the other day who's kind of new to angling, and we were talking about jigs, uh, different types of jigs, what he should be looking for in a jig. Um, he did share with me that he's currently fishing the uh, structure jig from Strike King, quite a bit, which is actually not a bad little jig. Uh, it's got a good shape to it. It skips really well. You can do a lot of things with it. So I told them, I said, there's nothing wrong with the jig that you're fishing. Um, I said, but you, you've got to understand the weight of a jig head more than anything else. And he says, oh yeah, I throw a half ounce jig all the time. And I said, oh, that's cool. You know, and I was trying to explain to him, I said, uh, you know, your half ounce jig though is probably more like three quarters of an ounce. And he was just having a hard time wrapping his head around that. And I was explaining to him that the raw jig head probably weighed a half an ounce at the start. Um, and then we add silicone. Um, this is a thread tie. These are both identical Arky heads, just to be clear. Um, half ounce. This is a thread tied. Um, two and a half tabs of silicone brush guard. Um, both have the same must add hook, but let's get this guy on the scale. As a raw jig head, it comes in at 0 0.53 and it usually teeters. Yeah, 0.49. So we're going to just call this a half ounce jig. It's close enough for me, right? Um, but now I was just trying to explain to him and he was having a hard time grasping. Um, so I thought I would just illustrate it here in the video. I took this scale. Uh, it's just a baking scale from the kitchen. Um, but um, and it'll, it'll weigh grams, ounces, pounds, whatever you need it to do. But now here's my jig that's tied with a skirt on it. It's 0 0.6, so we've gone from a half ounce jig to six tenths of an ounce. And now, of course, we've got to add a trailer. I typically throw a pack a chunk on my jigs, three incher. Um, I do carry some other trailers. Uh, the young man at work was sharing with me that he likes to throw a rage crawl, which I'm guessing is probably a little bit heavier even than my pack a chunk just because of the size of it and the salt content that it might have. But with my pack a chunk, this jig now becomes eight tenths of an ounce. So this is over three quarters of an ounce. Um, and, and why is this significant? It, it matters because we have to understand the dynamics of our jig, what's going on, what kind of water we're fishing. Um, I'm guilty of fishing too heavy. Quite often, I always start with a half ounce jig and make an adjustment from there. But oftentimes, um, I find myself uh, dialing back to a three eighth ounce jig head um, just to knock some of that weight out and get a little slower fall rate. I typically fish a jig fairly shallow around here. But again, it's just understanding the dynamics. Um, I'm not a professional fisherman by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I do enjoy crafting tackle. I do enjoy um, the, the study of fishing and, and understanding what's actually going on uh, when we're out there on the water. So again, if you're curious, uh, just go borrow your wife's scale that she bakes with if she has one. If not, you can probably pick one up on Amazon for $15 um, and, and actually start weighing out your jigs. I think you'll be surprised um, at how heavy they actually are versus what the package says on them. But at any rate, it was just a, a fun little conversation we had. I hope this information helps you guys out. I hope it, it can be useful to you guys and, and uh, enlightens you guys a little bit and gives you a little bit better understanding of what's going on when you're actually out there on the water fishing. I appreciate, I appreciate each and every one of you for uh, tuning in. We are closing in on that 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, I know I'm not consistent with my content. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would have a uh, hundred subscribers, let alone almost a thousand of you guys that are watching videos now. So again, thanks for everything. I appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate you guys taking the time to check out the video and I will see you guys on the next one.